Welcome back guys, welcome back to the channel, my name's Chill Winston and today is episode 2 of our Harry Maguire challenge here on the channel, playing him in striker. The bold strategy, Cotton, let's see if it pays off for him. Today, we take on Wolves and Bournemouth in the Premier League. But first, I'll take you through what we've been doing. We've covered a lot of ground, so let's get straight into it. Uh, 24 games played, we are third... I know. 50 points with a game in hand. Three points. We will be behind Man City if we get the win. And what's most pleasing about this whole thing is that Harry Maguire has scored 18 goals. He is our top goal scorer. Don't really know what's happening, Jim. <laughs> now, ignore all these down arrows because basically he's been injured for a long time. And I'll, I'll, I'll go into that in a moment. But he's finally an accomplished striker. Nice. We play him as an advanced forward, and I'll go into that again in a moment. But he's okay. He's okay. He's an advanced, uh, an advanced forward, rather. But he scored us seven goals in the Europa League. He scored 11 goals in the Premier League. Is he actually? One second. So he is quite far away from Salah and Haaland. And looking at Erling Haaland's numbers, these are very, very low compared to what he was doing for us in the last save, wasn't it? I'm going to pump those numbers up. Those are rookie numbers in this racket. But yeah, so probably not going to get the golden boot, but... He is by far our best striker, which is amazing. Tactics-wise, I went back to Gep's first attempt. I, I tried all sorts of different formations, um, and this ultimately became the one to go with. I went back to back to basics and played it from there. Boring! We have had a transfer window since, so some big, big news. The biggest news is we brought in Felipe Anderson. Why would you do that? Because Anthony is awful. And you will notice here that Cristiano Ronaldo has left to go to Newcastle. For what? Why? I, 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 before Man United fans ripped my head off, I'm sure most of you want to sell him anyway because of what he's been doing at your club. But... For us, he just was not getting the game time, and therefore he was moaning, he was kicking up a stink, and I wasn't going to play him. If Harry Maguire's fit, he plays, but if he's injured, someone else plays. Now, he was out for quite a while, and I was thinking, well, I can't play, you know, I can't play players that aren't, you know, if I start playing Ronaldo up front, it takes away from the challenge, as it were. So who could I think of who would take his mantle? Well, you may look here and see that Phil Jones has been filling his spot. He scored... Four Premier League goals for us. That's why he's the GOAT! Which is amazing. He is a makeshift striker. He scored one goal in the FA Cup and three in the Premier League, which is absolutely outstanding. So let's say we're doing well in the Premier League. When it comes to the other competitions, we absolutely crushed it in the Europa League. Absolutely amazing. Harry Maguire getting seven goals, as said. In the FA Cup, we've got Newcastle in the fifth round. That's not going to be easy with Newcastle with all their money. Top goal scorers are Phil Jones. Get in there. And in the Carabao Cup, we were knocked out by Wolves. The results are all over the place. I mean, some big wins against Brentford. Some big wins against Brighton. 7-0. I don't know where that came from. I'll see how far back I can show you some matches. I'll show you some highlights. To be honest, if I could pick between the two, uh, Phil Jones took to being a striker a heck of a lot better than uh, than Harry Maguire did. I think it's mainly because of the formation and the way we're playing. Uh, but Mitrovic getting a good goal there. Bruno Fernandes getting an absolute world of a goal. And up pops Phil Jones for the goal. Happy days. Harry Maguire does not get anywhere near as many headed goals as he should, really. Slab I didn't get anything. It's not been good enough. Now, I won't be able to show you anywhere near as many games as I'd like to. I mean, look, Phil Jones at the post twice there. Philippe Anderson getting a goal. Um, because purely the beta won't allow us to go far back in time. So you only get a handful of games to watch but that's fine the new game gets in phil jones the new game's out in a few weeks anyway probably i think it's the fourth or the eighth i've got in my mind that it's out so god knows what on earth De Gea was doing there i couldn't tell you some weird goals in this game against everton but we got the win phil jones being involved in the build-up spreads it over to felipe anderson who finds mctominay and that's a great finish there from scott sancho's also uh, playing really well the whole team likes this system which is I wouldn't say disappointing, but I kind of just went on what I did last year and integrated that sort of tactics, you know, uh, tackle harder, take more risks, dribble more, shoot less. I've got the wingers bombing forward to get the width. I've got the inside forwards coming in to assist, and then I've got the midfielders bombing forward. It's kind of what I did last year, so, I mean, it's kind of very similar in that way, but the match ending is still feeling really good and new, so that's a good thing. 
And this was come of the man, come of the hour. Uh, this was an amazing game here for Phil Jones. It was an end-to-end game. We got a man sent off after this goal from Kulosevsky and Harry Kane there combining. Really, really good goal there. They're a fantastic team, Tottenham, on the game. If you want to play with a good, easy team, pick them. Uh, Bruno Fernandes, what a pass that is to Jaden Sancho. Great finish, the 10 men. Oh, sorry, no, I lied. We still had 11 men on the pitch at this point. Harry Kane, Harry Kane. So... It's more disappointing considering all these goals because it's Man City. We knew if the goal was on target, it'd go in. But at the 86th minute, up stepped the hero. Sancho puts on a plate for Phil Jones to win it in the 86th minute. And I was absolutely buzzing, guys. It was amazing. We come back today because the man of the hour is back. De Gea, Hakimi, Varane, Martinez, DeMarco, Eriksen, Casemiro, Fernandez, Sancho, Maguire, Felipe Anderson, Maguire's back, and he's not only back, he's back because he's got striker in his name as well, which is great, which means he should get more goals, which is hilarious. And also, what's good about this game is that he's adapted to his position a lot better than they did last year. It took me a long time to get a player adapted to their position, so I'm happy to see that that's actually a little bit faster in this one. But overall, I'm extremely happy with where we are. I'm not expecting to win the league, but we can push Man City with Harry Maguire up front. It was genuinely giving it a damn good go up top. 18 goals for Harry Maguire is an amazing return. Being our top goal scorer as well is great. I thought that maybe one of the inside forwards would take it off him, but or even uh, for Nenge, but you know, he's, he's absolutely smashing him in. So that's the team. Get behind the boys. If you're new to the channel, hit a like, hit subscribe and comment below. Thank you for all the suggestions I'm getting and all the feedback. I really, really like it. Thanks for all the likes that I've got as well and all the new subscribers. Welcome. But let's get into the match today. Wolves are no mugs. Oh, no, they are. The Sorry, I take that back. They were doing well at the beginning of the season. They are now 11th. So we should really spank them. I will see you on the pitch. Right, here we go. Um, noticing immediately that Ronaldo has scored a hat-trick for Newcastle. Brilliant. <laughs> Doing them good, but they're miles away from us here. But I swear to God, if he scores passes in the FA Cup, I won't be happy. We are battering Newcastle so far with my amazing tactic. Sometimes if you listen very carefully, you can hear my genius. Otto, it's not Newcastle, it's Wolves, you dipshit. Uh, Kramer. Kramer looking for a killer ball here, but it's going to be picked up by De Gea. Right, let's build it from the back as we do, boys. De Gea on the ball, rolls it to Ericsson. Long ball over, loads of space here on the left side for Felipe Anderson. Gives it back to DeMarco, DeMarco to Ericsson. Come on, boys. Martinez, well, really high up the pitch here for Rafael Varane, Ericsson, Casemiro. Spots the runner, Sancho. Sancho! He's bloody missed it! DeMarco finds Felipe Anderson, Martinez. Not that good on this game, to be honest, Martinez. I thought it'd be a bit better because he is playing well for Man United in real life. But Bruno Fernandes spots the run of DeMarco. DeMarco nowhere to go here. Goes back to Martinez. Eriksen and Martinez combining. Rafael Varane looking for some space. There is some space on the wing over here for Hakimi. He picks it back up. Eriksen, Casemiro, Rafael Varane. Nice and patient builder, boys. We don't have working into the box, but they kind of do anyway. Harry Maguire! Harry Maguire! Oh, shot on target from Harry Maguire. <laughs> from Harry Maguire. Casemiro. Is the highlight not over? Sancho now. Out to Hakimi. Can Hakimi turn assist? Go! Oh, straight to where uh, the goalkeeper's feet. And here's all Man United here. This is like the longest highlight I've ever seen. Uh, Philippe Anderson coming inside. Bruno Fernandes to DeMarco. DeMarco crosses in. Casemiro! Finishes off a dominant period for Man United. And that is 1-0. Cranking up the pressure on Man City. We're coming for you, Man City. Philippe Anderson finally gets some time in space. Bruno Fernandes. DeMarco using his 16 crossing. Finds Casemiro on the volley. That's a great finish. 1-0. Six shots to zero here. Really, really good going so far. But however, Pedro Neto steps over the ball. Pedro Neto. Over the bar. Our goal difference is quite good as well, to say we've got Harry Maguire up front. Uh, Jose Sarr, Kilman to Collins, but the, the high press here. Oh, ooh, I, th I thought they were going to play in Harry Maguire there. Eriksen, ooh, Raul Jimenez takes the ball. He's very good on this game, but not against us. That is a lovely ball for Sancho from Bruno Fernandes. Sancho, top assister in the team so far. Back to Hakimi, ball lofted in, and Casemiro is just on a goal-scoring rampage. He's only scored four, two of which have been in this game. And that is 2-0 on the stroke of half-time for Man United. Fantastic display here 
Very professional, very well done. Getting the job done nice and easy. Akimi, lovely ball in. Casemiro, filling that central area there. And we've also got the men around. This is a great tactic, guys. I might include a download if I get enough likes on the video. Throw in here deep in the Wolves territory, but Collins clears it to the only man back, which is Rafael Varane. DeMarco. DeMarco, oh, that is a terrible pass, but they've given it straight back to us. What's good about this high pressing is that teams feel choked, so they have to just punt it long. Rafael Varane finds Casemiro, man of the match so far. Felipe Anderson stretching the defence, cuts back inside to DeMarco, whips it into Harry Maguire! <laughs> Maguire getting his 19th goal of the season. I am flabbergasted. Super Harry Maguire, the England captain. Flip Anderson. Oh, DeMarco's having a fantastic game. He's doing what I brought him in for, whipping in these balls, and Harry Maguire getting a goal. Fullbacks both getting an assist. Fantastic. 3 0 now. Oh, my word, not another. Ericsson looking for Sancho. Doesn't quite find him. What I like about this game is there seems to be a chance, but then it's not over. It keeps, you know, the highlights are quite unpredictable so far. Oh, DeMarco. It is non-stop here. Kilman. They keep playing out from the back, but they give it to Bruno Fernandes. What a goal from Bruno Fernandes. And that is absolutely incredible. Wolves are uh, collapsing in on themselves. Jose Sarp to Kilman. Pressure from Sancho immediately. Straight to Bruno and just wax it. What an effort. <laughs> Amazing. There we go. Made four changes just to rest up some players now. 4 0 up. We want to keep the team fresh. Goal difference is fairly close to Man City's as well. We'll the three three behind Man City now, which is fantastic. If we could win the league, it'd be ridiculous. Noi to Masengo. Adama Traore using all of his pace. Oh my word, Adama Traore. That, uh, yeah, Wolves it back. Wow, well, we did not expect that. It looked far too easy, this. We just switched off. Masengo finds Kilman, who punts this long. And look how deep uh, Adama is. Don't know where the defense has gone. He's got a lot of time. I like the first touches on this game. They don't just instantly control it. It's, it like, feels more natural. So, right, yeah. But looks like we're going to hit them straight back here. Van der Beek, can he find Harry Maguire lurking at the front corner? No, he can't. Adama clears it. Martinez to Fred. Donny van der Beek. Ooh. Rafael Varane here keeping up the pressure. Ah, he's dealt it. He's lost it. Oh, Adama looking for someone. He just finds Akimi. Akimi now running back at them. Ball coming back to Wolves. Philippe Anderson now. We swap the side. Can he find Maguire? No, he can't. Nori gives it back to Varane. Varane is like a black hole for Wolves. It just keeps going to him. Martinez. Ball over to Rashford. Maguire! Massive in of offside, though. He hasn't mastered the offside yet. We're all waiting. Come on. Give, give him a second. You fucking nonce! Malassia to Van der Beek. Can we put another goal away here, boys? Fred. Go on, Fred. Into Rashford. Not quite what we're looking for. Otto. Back to Collins. Rashford picks his pocket. To, to, to Maguire. You greedy bastard. I mean, fair play, Marcus Rashford. Very good goal. But it was stood on the six-yard box. You're meant to be on support and shoot less often. Greedy, greedy Marcus Rashford scoring a really good goal. He, he won the ball here. Look, oh, he's open. He's open. That's a good finish. <laughs> Samuel will do it. I'm mad even when we uh, score. Yeah. Boys, 11 Hag is very happy. Right, that leaves us three points by Man City, six goal difference as well. I'll fast forward now to the Bournemouth game. I'll see you there. Three days later. And we're back. The team is De Gea, Hakimi, Varane, Lindelof is now back. DeMarco, Eriksson, Casemiro is suspended. Savannah so Bakes in. Bruno Fernandes, Sancho Maguire and Felipe Anderson. Let's get into it. We really need to keep the pressure on Man City. This should be an easy win, but there's no easy games in the Premier League. I'll see you on the pitch. DeMarco marauding down the wing. Here comes Felipe Anderson. Can we hit them quickly here in the first five minutes? Ball all the way to Hakimi. Hakimi's going to drive this into the box. Can he find someone in the mid side of the mid Maguire! That was hard to miss. But Donny van der Beek. He's quite isolated here, but he shrugs off his man. What a ball to DeMarco. DeMarco is very similar. They're fighting like beavers here. Ball over the top. Billing to Brooks. Oh, they could have a... Oh, I said they could have had a break on, but they would de delve too greedily too deep. And he goes... Bruno Fernandes and a great save there from Neto. That's his job, isn't it? Well, it's just been an all-action so far. Right, we've got Slabhead at the front. Can he get something on it here? 
Whipped in. No, we're rubbish at corners. I've heard people say that they find them easy, but I've got a great tactic, but I just can't do corners. DeMarco, whip it in. Please score a corner. No. Lindelof. Oh. Pretty Fernandes. Lindelof. Oh, bugger me. I thought that was in. That would have been hilarious. Another cross here. DeMarco. What on earth? We're using his free kick accuracy there and crossing. Brooks now. Here come a Bournemouth looking for a break. There is st some space here for Stevens. Stevens now. Stevens. Back to Mepham. Mepham to the billing. Is it? Is. Oh! There we go. Lovely. That was uh, bad play there for Man United. Another corner. Whipped in and also dealt with. Jesus. I'm going to change it up again, but I don't know what to. Hakimi running. Oh, my word. That would have been great. And what happened to my voice? Ha! Gay! Man City winning 2-0 against Everton. So we must win this game if we want to keep the pressure on. Corner number 700. Maguire. Just, just, uh, nothing happens. Jane Sancho. Jane Sancho. Oh, looking for Van der Beek. Couldn't quite find him. Varane. No one can find Van der Beek. Uh, Eriksen. Looks to cut it back. No, does he? He loses it out to Senesi. What can Senesi do to Christie? Sancho picks his pocket and he puts it wide. Oh, my God. It's going to be one of them games, isn't it? Oh, Christian Eriksen wants to go then. Go on then, lad. Bang. He's bloody missed it. Well, I, I'm mad, but I really shouldn't be that mad because we've just not been putting our chances away. I'm sick of all these corners. Whips it in. Yeah, miss. Great. Not another one? Right, Neto. Oh, great ball there to Stevens, but he's really stuck of where he can go. Has to go back to Mepham. Mepham now. Can he pick anyone out? And there is Ryan Bertrand in acres of space. Bertrand now. Back to Senesi. Senesi. Here come Bournemouth. Could they nick something here? Um, to Solanke. Oh, I thought it was going to be intercepted there, but we've overcommitted. But can Rakus? Rakus. Mashford picks it up. Back to De Gea, punts it long first time. Aaron Maguire should pick it up. Oh my word, Aaron Maguire's away! Aaron Maguire! Oh, save! Oh, and it's a billionth corner. Here it comes, please! Oh! Maguire nuts it back in, and Billing deals with it. Another header, another header. It's clear to Varane. Oh, that's it. Kitchen sink's coming out now. Can we score in Fergie time? Unbelievable. Oh, just an FMing! And for those who don't know what an FM is, sometimes it may be good, sometimes it may be shit. Look at this. They had one shot on target. We had 10. They had three efforts. We had 32. We had 10 times the efforts on in, on, around the goal. Uh, we had more possession, better pass accuracy. We had 18 corners. FM fix corners. I'm going to go back post now instead. That's the tactic. We'll go back post. So as it stands, that gave Man City an extra boost. They are now five points ahead of us, but we're still fighting for this title. Love it. We're still in the FA Cup and we're still in the Europa League, which is still think we've got a very good chance of winning. But if you made it this far, hit a like, hit subscribe and comment below. Are you enjoying this challenge? What challenge do you want to see? Let me know and comment. This is a challenge that was suggested by Danny. Who the fuck is that guy? Who said in the comment in the last series. So get your comments in and I might well do it. The new game's out soon. So when we do that, we'll start making teams, some original teams. But until then, take care.